If you love your garden, you want to check out this piece of paradise in southern Florida. One man dedicates his life to a fiesta of flowers in his backyard. He even developed his own species. If you think you're a garden guru, you haven't met Bob Fuchs or seen his garden. Most flowers grow on the ground, but not his. Lots of Bob's flowers fly high into the trees. Tropical orchids are his specialty. They love heights and the Miami heat. Bob, not all orchids are on the ground? Not all orchids are on the ground. Some of them start on the ground, then they grow up the tree. Believe it or not, Bob has more than 150,000 varieties of orchids from all over the world. Their roots grow up to 20 feet long and wrap around the tree. These fantastic flowers run in his family. This is the orchid that started all the orchids in my family for three generations. And when Bob was 13, his dad brought him along on one of his orchid expeditions, and he's been returning ever since. I flew to the Dominican Republic with my dad and a friend of his, and we flew over there, and I saw him growing in the wild, these different exotic things, and I was absolutely hooked. Since then, this orchid entrepreneur has discovered new species and even grown several of his own hybrids. I named this a Robert's Delight because I was so delighted with the hybrid. I said, okay, that's, that's my delight here. That's so awesome. Robert's Delight, yeah. So you have, you have your own flower. We have, I have my own flower. Along with more than 700 awards for growing orchids and creating new varieties. He's like a fertility doctor for flowers. Bob, what are you doing here? I'm pollinating, making uh, actually a sibling cross with this beautiful species. Uh, Shouldn't you have some mood lighting and maybe a little Al Green playing in the background, Barry White? Uh, you might get more germination that way, more seeds, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> actually, there is an orchestra for the orchids. Bob plays music for the flowers every day. Classical music generally, yes. Uh, the plants, it's soothing, especially on these hot summer days. It kind of cools them down. Bob's hobby blossomed into his own business. And to think, this award-winning orchid nursery all started as a graduation present. My graduation gift from high school was a greenhouse for my parents. That's what they gave me for graduation. Bob pays tribute to his favorite flower throughout his yard. Orchids are carved in stone tiled on benches, stained glass, even greeting guests at the gate. Bob has quite the backyard sanctuary. Oh my gosh. You. That was your big fish. Uh, Do you swim in here? Uh, you can swim in there, yeah. If you need a manicure or your, your uh, for your toes and your fingers, it's fine. Oh, no, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, they do nibble on you. <laughs> Of course, if you get hungry, there's plenty of paddles to go around. Bob, these are so beautiful, they almost look good enough to eat. They are. Mmm. No. Yeah. Incredible. A little, uh, actually, a little, they're better a little bit of salad dressing on them. Let me try. Yeah. Nice and crunchy. Or delicious. There you go. <laughs> I doubt his grandfather ate his orchids. But he would definitely be proud to see this orchid oasis. Yeah, I, I really am obsessed with them. I, they're, they're, they're fascinating. Up next, when you've got 50,000.